Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mary, so welcome and thank you for watching today's video. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you the best of beauty from 2020, so I'll be sharing all the things from every category, from primers to eyeliners, concealers, all that stuff. Now, I'm not 100% sure on the release date of all of these, but I'm pretty sure all of these released this year. Some items, like some categories, I have more than one items and some are just one. So yeah, um, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I do believe I have all of these products with me except one, but we're gonna go ahead and kick it off with the primer. So I actually have two, but this one released last year and it's the Milk Hydro Grip. I mean, you can obviously see how much I've been loving this because it's pretty much all gone. And then the one that actually released this year is pretty similar to this. It is a gripping primer and that is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. So these are pretty similar. I love both of them, but this is the one that released this year. I do think if I had to pick one over the other, I would probably go with the milk one, but these are both absolutely amazing. You can't go wrong with either. Um, let's jump into the foundation. So actually I do want to point out all the things that I am mentioning. I am wearing, I think all of them today. Um, so for foundation, it is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I have this in the shade Light 60N. Again, like I said, I am wearing this today. I do have a winter shade and a summer shade. This foundation is super beautiful. It is very lightweight feeling. It's more of like a dewy consistency and it is medium to full. You can build it up pretty nice and then it does blend out absolutely beautiful. I think I took no time at all. And yeah, that is for a foundation. So for concealer, I do have two again. Well, I guess like three, I would say. Two of them are from e.l.f. and it's the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. So we have the regular one and the hydrating one. I love absolutely both of these. I think they are super awesome. I know a lot of people compare this to Tarte Shape Tape. I'm not a huge shape tape person because it's a little out of my price range I much prefer getting you know these because they're way cheaper and a lot of people actually don't like the hydrating one because they think it is drying they think both of them are drying I don't really know but I think I prefer the hydrating one my other foundation excuse me concealer is from Too Faced and it is their Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer so this one is in shortbread these two medium peach, light peach. I ran out of my medium peach in this one, but I want to use up everything. So I kind of just mix these two together, but this one is a great shade for me. The Too Faced Born This Way foundation is actually like one of my all time favorite foundations, but this did release this year and I actually got this in a boxy charm. So now in case you haven't noticed, I'm like moving in the direction of how I would apply my makeup. So next we have powder. I think this released this year. I'm not 100% sure, but it is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I mean, I don't know why I'm swatching it because you're not really going to be able to see, but this powder mixed with either of these primers, especially when you're wearing masks, your foundation and stuff is gonna be locked in place. This is such an amazing product because it is waterproof. I don't really put this all over my face. I usually put it either under my eyes or if I'm going out with a mask on, I put it where I would be wearing a mask and my makeup does not budge. So yeah, next we have blushes. So I have two from one brand which is the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blushes. I am actually wearing this one on my face right now and it is in the shade Seashells. So this is Seashells right there. My foundation that I did is right there. So but it's more of like a mauve -y, nude -ish shade. And then the next one is Dolly and this is more of like a rosy 
back one. Super pretty. I love both of these. And then a third one I have is from another brand, which is Persona Cosmetics. And it's their Super Blush. And this one is in the shade Georgia. So as you can see, these are all very different shades. Super pretty. I love all of them. They're all super nice, you think? Um, I think I might like the Buxom formula just a little better, but I love the Persona one as well. I would love to pick up more shades from them. And then next we're going to jump into the bronzer, which again, I have on my face today and it is from Buxom as well. It's the Staycation Vibes Primer Infused Bronzer. And this one is in the shade Backyard Bronze. I will swatch this one for you as well. The only thing I don't like about this is the packaging. I feel like it's a little bulky for my taste, but I do still like the bronzer. It's very pigmented, very easy to blend. And I actually really, really like it. I'm trying to get a wipe. I'm gonna wipe all this off really quick. All right, so next we have my highlighter. So I picked up this Nabla Skin Glazing one. They have a couple different shades, but I got it in the one in the shade ozone that's what i have on today it is super pretty and you can just tell by looking at this that i have used it a good bit this year i know i have it on my face but i will swatch it again for you guys here it is so pretty it is very very beaming the nice thing about this is if you do just like a little light swatch and blend it out like it can it can be subtle kind of, but you can also build it up to get it to that like more beaming highlight if that's what you like, which is what I like. So next, <laughs> moving on, and I'm sorry if I feel like I'm going through these super fast. I'm not trying to. Um, this is my first time doing like a best of beauties. So trial and error, trial and error, you guys. Um, so next we have mascara. So I do have two of these. I'm wearing both. So on the top we have from CoverGirl and that is their Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. So I do have the regular Exhibitionist and then this year they came out with the Uncensored one which is supposed to be like a darker, blacker, thicker version. I'm not exactly sure. I am almost out of it so if it doesn't look that great on my eyes today that's why. But I do really really enjoy this. I got this sent to me in an influencer box, so that was super awesome. And I have been loving this. Like I said, I'm almost out of it. And then the other one has had a lot of mixed reviews, but it's the Urban Decay Lash Freak one. This is actually what I have on my lower lash line, and holy crap, you guys, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, especially on the lower lash line. It took a while to get used to because the bristles on this, it's, it's just really weird because they don't have it on one, this side doesn't have any, and this has like a like slant to it almost, so it's really odd, and it takes a little bit to get used to because it is kind of messy, but I have been really, really enjoying that. Moving on to eyeliner. So I have been in love with the House Laboratories eyeliner. It's um, Lady Gaga's brand absolutely love Lady Gaga. So she came out with this liner. Again, I have it on. I'll give you a little swatch here. So that's, wow, crazy. The thing I actually really, really like about this is how well it goes over shimmers. I wear shimmers. If I'm doing eye makeup, I'm pretty much always putting a shimmer on and this goes over them so well. I want to show you I'm gonna grab this shimmer that I have on my eye today, which I will talk about in a little bit, and I'm just gonna swatch it right there. And then I'm gonna take this liner and go over it just so you can see how it's like still crazy pigmented. I know that looks like a thick line, but you can do thinner ones. That was a bad swatch. You can do thinner ones, um, but I absolutely love this one which I do believe came out this year, I think. I'm not 100% sure. This year has been like slow and fast at the same time. So it's honestly just been like a huge blur. So the next thing I have, which I know came out this year, is my lipstick that I have on today. And that is the Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Pumpkin Spice that came with like their pumpkin palette and everything collection. And again, I have this on today. 
topped with a gloss, which I'll talk about in a minute, but I absolutely love this shade. I'll give you a swatch just so you can see what it looks like without the gloss. That's a horrible swatch, but it's just such a beautiful color and I love it so much. So speaking of gloss, this is not a new formula by any means, but there are new shades that are constantly being launched and this is by far the hands down best lip gloss I've ever used in my whole entire life and that is from Fenty. And I have two shades. I have the Fenty Glow and then the one that I'm wearing today is Diamond Milk. I purchased this one and I got this in a boxy. So this is Fenty Glow right here. You can see it does have some pigment to it. And then this is Diamond Milk right next to it. Oops, it's more of like a clear. Now it does have a little bit of a color to it because I put it on over this and it picked up some of the color onto the wand. But this, there's literally no other gloss that I've ever used that is better than this because it's not sticky at all. So like, this one I bought when I was still in California and it gets crazy windy over there. And if you wear lip gloss in the wind, you know how it always gets stuck. If you wear lip gloss in the wind, your hair always gets stuck to your lips and then you move your hair. And then if you have lipstick or pigmented gloss, it just gets all over your face. So the thing I love about this is it's not sticky. So my hair does not get stuck in the lip gloss, which is amazing. So the next one is actually something I do not have with me because I have used it up and I haven't purchased it yet or repurchased it yet, but I will be inserting a picture of it over here. Um, and I will also be inserting pictures of everything too, which you will have already seen and everything will be linked in the description box down below. But that is for brows and that is the NYX Professional Makeup Precision Brow Pencil. I wrote it down because I film everything on my phone. so. I have to take my notes and everything but I have loved that brow product so much just because it's got such a nice precise little thingy whatever you want to call it for um, your brows and it does also have a spoolie which I absolutely love I just I have a hard time liking like brow pencils and stuff like that if they don't come with a spoolie because then that's just more work and you have to have it's, it's just a pain. I'd rather just have a one and done product, which is what that is and which is another reason why I love it so much. So next we have setting spray and this is not a new product by any means, but it's the, oh gosh, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So like I have three All Nighter things. I have the setting spray, the primer, and the powder like Chef's Kiss, match made in heaven, especially if you're wearing masks. It's like foolproof. It's absolutely amazing. All three of those products together are so great. So the last category we have is eyeshadow palettes or palette. So I did already do a ranking video where I ranked all the palettes that I purchased from 2020. So I'll link that down below. So I picked, I tried to pick one but I ended up picking three and out of these three, I only think two of them were in the top five, but yet it, I don't know why, but these are the three that I automatically thought of because for me, they're more than just the formula. Some of it is the packaging. So we're gonna go ahead and scoot over because I will be inserting swatches of these over here, but let's just kick it off with this first one, which is the Star Wars The Mandalorian palette from ColourPop. Holy crap. I absolutely love that show and I'm just not going to sit here and talk to you about the end of season two because I don't want to cry because that was just, I did not see it coming and like I was so happy yet like what the heck at the same time, it was so good. So just because I love the show so dang much, it's really hard for me not to have this as a favorite because it's just so cute. And I don't know what it is about this palette compared to their other nine pan palettes, but the formula in this one is just somehow better. I don't know, but maybe it's just me. And then the other one is from Too Faced. It's their pumpkin spice palette. And I absolutely love this. So the this is more of like the neutral, a little bit of color to it. And this is more of like the color. So I wanted to kind of have a little bit of everything in the palettes. And I absolutely love this. 
it smells great first of all and then the variety of the shades you get in here are just so much fun it has the pinks and purples which are my favorites and then you got some warms over here it's just such an overall nice palette and the packaging is just really cute and it's just fun to play with and then the last one is the one that I actually have on my eyes today it's the big daddy it's the very colorful one and it is from glam light it is your ice cream dream palette i do believe this is out of stock right now but holy cow for good reason i mean look at this so i'm actually only wearing three shades i'm wearing cookie monster cotton candy and french vanilla i'm wearing these three all on me i don't know what i'm doing right here but there we go that's a horrible swatch but <laughs> Those are the three that I have on today. So you can see this is just an overall, ugh, it's just such a fun palette. It was kind of weird because it came out like in the fall, later fall. And I'm like, this is summer. Like this is summer vibes right here. But you know what? This year has just been such a mess. Like people are just doing whatever they want. And like you can do whatever you want with makeup. That's the fun thing about it. But this is just such an amazing palette. Like the shimmers in here are awesome, don't get me wrong, but the thing that gets me is the mattes because it's one thing to have good shimmers, but to have good mattes is like, you know, that's how you really know. I'm gonna, I know I'm already gonna be inserting swatches, but I just wanna show you like firsthand two of these swatches. So I have peanut butter and pumpkin, but like that's one swatch right there so pretty I absolutely love this palette and I believe that is everything you guys that wraps up this whole best of beauty from 2020 video um let me guys know in the comments if you loved any of these products if you hated any of these products and then if there's a product that you love that I did not mention then drop a comment because I love checking out new things and I believe that is all I have for you guys today. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Scub. <laughs> Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I mean, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to hate you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I will see you next time. Bye.